Alright guys, welcome back to Let's Play Rune Factory 2, A Fantasy Harvest Moon. In the last episode, we just kept going on. We did the third of spring, and we are seeing how different things are now. This will be a bit slower going right now, but it will speed up by next week. Once we have access to all the weapons and everything, things will be very different. I... <sighs> I've been considering how I want to handle something, and I'm gonna be real with you, I may want to try the challenge of something. And it may be the only challenge I have in this game, so I'm gonna go for it. Later today, I'm gonna give the first boss of the game a real shot. Not counting the joke that it was that giant orc. We don't count the giant orc. <laughs> but it's actually on the same screen. You can now take on bosses, and they're pretty much accessible immediately, but you don't want to fight most of them. With current equipment, they will wreck you, especially with the current monster. So, later today, I'll give it a save, and I'll see whether or not I can actually do it. I probably can't, but no harm in trying, right? I'm wasting so much health right now, and I'm kind of running out of medicinal herbs. Or at least ones that I want to use up currently. There we go. Let's swap around some of my items. So immediately, I'm going to want to get rid of my brush. This magnifying glass. So that I can have all three of these on me at once. UA! I want a bargain. Welcome. Welcome, come in. I have lots of great finds today. Have a look around. The refrigerator. You'd like the refrigerator? You can keep raw foods fresh. I'll sell it for 10,000 G. I'm buying it. Welcome. The shelves. Some shelves? Things just seem to pile up, don't they? These will, be These will really come in handy. How about 10,000 G? I'll buy it. The record player. You'd like the record player? I have no idea how it works, but somehow there's music in there? How about 20,000 G? And now, the final item. The full set of tools. Buy six, buy six different Apple appliances all together as a special promotion. This is a real bargain. How about 30,000 G? I'll buy it. Thank you for coming. I'll have some new items in before you know it. Come again soon. And I may as well just check. You can't get like an expanded refrigerator or something. You already have that. I figured. So if we head over to the school now that we've purchased all those and head over, no, over here. Up here, from left to right, we have the mayonnaise maker. The cheese maker. The yogurt maker. The seed maker. And finally, the thread maker. We can convert most of our items that we get from our monsters into these different things. Except for this one, which of course turns your crops into seeds. Which is how you power level them and get them up to level 10 pretty easy. Now. Finally. The yellowtail is going in here. The eggplant's going in here. I'm going to stick the eggs in here. As well as the milk. I believe the root can go in there. No, I was wrong. Okay. And the shelves. The bronze, iron, scrap iron. Put all my different gems in here as well. Okay. We have so much more space now. Space is no longer an issue, all of a sudden. I can move a bunch of the items from my home stuff here as well, just for keeping everything together kind of thing. Morning, Morning Arya. I'll be sure to watch out for you, Arya. It's the middle of the week. Only two days left until the weekend. Fair enough. 
Let's take a lesson. All right. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna do things a little bit differently. I'm gonna just do the sashimis in order. Let's begin our lesson on cherry sashimi. So cherry salmon. Next is mesu trout sashimi. Then we slice the mesu trout after washing it. Okay, next is rainbow sashimi. It can be made with just one rainbow trout. Next is char sashimi. This one is simple too. Catch a char, then slice it thinly. Finally, one last sashimi recipe. This one is needlefish sashimi. Get a needlefish, then thinly slice it. All right. All right. Let's begin the class. All right. Sashimi two. Okay. Let's begin our lesson on sashimi. First, let's make sardine sashimi. Descale the sardine, then slice it into sashimi, and it's ready. Let's try making tuna sashimi now. Cut the tuna into slices of sh sashimi. It can be hard since it's so big. Uh, there's the tuna. Next up is pike sashimi. Take a pike, then slice it into sashimi, and you're done. Next, let's try salmon sashimi. As usual, just cut the salmon into slices of sashimi, and then it's ready. Uh, salmon is halfway down. Finally, we'll try skipjack sashimi, okay? Let's slice the skipjack thinly and cleanly. Did you understand my instructions? There we go. And we're done with mana for the day. Easy peasy. Super simple. Mordenoria. Why are there... Okay, this is going to be a long one. What I'm learning is just don't talk to him. Because this is a pain. Now that I think about it, if I go over to the library... Oh, this book! You got the magic book Stone Spike. Oh wow, I got Stone Spike! It's okay to take it, it's my father's school after all. That's not correct, but it's fine, she's a child. Oh, this book! You got the magic book Sonic Wind. SONIC WIND! Oh wow, I got Sonic Wind. It's okay, I take it. It's my father's school after all. These books all look difficult. So you chose the magic book instead? What? <laughs> None of these books look very interesting. Alright, it seems it's just those ones. Come play hide and seek with us. We're gonna do some of these quests, because why not? I have the inventory now, so this should be a lot of fun. Also, I know exactly where they are. Let's play hide and seek, Arya. Yeah, let's play. Sure. We'll go hide as soon as you can't see us. Good luck finding us. Ready? Go! Uh, we were with you. I have no idea where they'll be, so I'm just gonna have to run around town and figure it out. I'm assuming they can't be in here because this could just not exist at this point. Maybe up here? Nope. Can they go indoors is the question. So I've been looking around for a while and I don't know, so I'm gonna cheat! Hey Aria, would you like to know your fortune? Tell me my fortune. The location. Of Sarah and Serena. Okay, I'll give you a location reading. Jamilala. Jamilala. Wahala. I can see I've spotted you now. Sarah is in Alvarna North Square. So apparently they're in the North Square. 
Weird. Okay. Also, to be safe. Tomorrow's weather. Sim, 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 salabim. Okay. I'd already searched like half the town proper, and you're up here. Got it. Shoot, you found us. Ah, boo. You could have stayed hidden in different spots. I mean, there are two of you. Impossible. We're inseparable. I see. That was fun. Let's play again sometime. Oh, that's right. We want you to have this. Marmalade. I love marmalade. I love it too. Try it, Aria. So, marmalade. A sweet preserve made from oranges. The peels are also grated up and included. So, you could just re-gift this to them. And that's an option. But I kind of want them to love me. So I had to check just to be certain. This is actually their birthday gift item. So we will ship it for now. And eventually I'll make it for them for their birthday. So that we'll have said that we have actually made it before. Marmalade. Shipped. Also, you know, money, but money is no object at this point. Trial. Ant. Actually, no, this is a nighttime enemy. Let's not do that for now. Um, I'm trying to think of everyone's locations currently. I got something good. I've got something for you. Come around and see me for it. Heck yeah. A mysterious stranger has popped up and they're promising me candy! Oh, yay! How are you? I'm glad you came. I thought I'd give you a gift today. Here, take it. You got the missing page one. It just happened upon it the other day. Can you use it for your studies? I don't really have any use for it myself, so I thought I'd give it to you. Hope it's helpful to you. Thank you! Missing page one, but we already have that, don't we? Correct. Missing page one, a page from the medication magic book, describes how to use powerful magic. So this is used to fix up the medication skill. If I'm remembering correctly, medication is actually the skill that heals status ailments. So that's good too. You know what, for now, I'm actually not going to do more quests. I just want to hang out in the dungeon. So let's grab Sylvie. I believe tomorrow we actually, uh, can get more stuff from them. Gotta keep that up every day because I'm gonna need like 30 of each of them. This. How did that count right there? Alright. Like I said, I wanna give this a shot without any kind of upgrades to my equipment, without even a sword on me at this point because I ran out of space. An apple tree? Oh no, it's moving, what the heck? Welcome to the first boss of Rune Factory 2, the Terror Tree. This boss has 1,365 HP, roughly. I had to do quite a bit of testing here to actually get info because they don't seem to have any of it posted online. Defense of 9, and it seems to take roughly 25% more magic damage than your actual magic attack. While it is known as the Terror Tree here, it is actually known as the Dead Tree in future installments. This boss has 5 attacks, the first one being a root attack, where it summons 3 different roots in a row hitting you for roughly 16 damage apiece, and with a high chance of stun. It has an apple attack, where it spawns a line of apples, and throws them towards you. Then, spawns a second line after that, throwing them in a different pattern. And then a third line in the same pattern as the first one. Each apple hits for roughly 26 damage. There's a second apple attack, where it'll spawn a circle of apples around itself, and throw them at you. Should you be within that circle when they spawn, be prepared to take massive damage as it combos you. Should you be nearby when it tries to attack you, it'll actually do a swipe attack where it hits you for 48 damage. 
when you get it low enough, it'll go in an enraged state and start dashing at you. Anytime it dashes at you, it'll hit you twice in a row for roughly 24 damage each. Mind you, these are all just the damage numbers, not with your defense included. This boss is not hard for the correct level, which I would recommend right around level 10 for this boss. Should you want to be strong enough just to take it out easy, level 15 is good, level 10 is more than enough though. Should you want a challenge though, go at a lower level, have some fun with it. While it does lengthen the battle quite a bit, it is actually a lot of fun, I really enjoy this boss. Have some fun with this guys, and I'll see you in the next boss battle. Oh no, it gets rid of your monster companion! I wasn't sure! Okay. Oh, right, it does that one to start with. Okay, not a concern. Not a concern. Not a concern. I don't remember that attack. Oh, it's just a slash. Oh. Yep, okay, it just is a... Yep, okay. We're fine on this one. Okay. Because we're level 15, we are good for this first battle. If we tried this on in the other dungeons, we would not be doing nearly as well. Burn the tree. Okay, if I get it to swing at me, then I can actually... Oh, I didn't mean to hit that. Oh, don't heal yourself, you punk! Stop healing yourself, you punk! Oh, I'm within the... Oh no, that's dangerous. It at least speeds up getting hit by them. Stop that! Stop that! Phase two. Oh, yeah, it can move now, for some reason. And it just does a dash attack with those. Okay, it does another dash in that way. Problem is, it doesn't just keep on dashing the same direction, it changes slightly. Slight bit of homing is unfortunate. There we go. We actually almost ran off RP doing that, but we did it. Even though it kept healing itself, we did it. Obtain the Greenstone Tablet Fragment. Whoa, I managed to win. That was close. The stone tablet just that this monster dropped is just like the ones I've been finding around this forest. Maybe if I get all the pieces, I can read it. When I get all the pieces, I'll show it to my teacher, Barrett. Interesting idea. One issue with that is that we haven't gotten any from around this forest that are like that. What is Arya talking about? Hint, hint, there are some around the forest that you can get from there. Just like the one that we got from the uh, winter one. From Padova. Well, we can't do that right now. We did it. We did the first dungeon. And we know that we cannot use monsters during the battles, which is rather unfortunate. Ah, yes. Very unfortunate, sir. Morning. Morning, Arya. Barrett, I have something I want you to see. What is it? Could you look at this tablet? I can't read some of the words. The writing on this tablet, it's printed in Earth script. Earth script? a script used by the ancient Earthmates, you 
you can read this? I know that there's no reason I should be able to read it, but I understand what it says. <laughs> what does the rest say? Very few people still understand the language of the Earthmates. I can't read much of it either, but it would make for interesting research. Legend says that Earth script could call forth the most powerful of magics. Really? By the way, Arya. What? Where did you find this? What? Um, well, you see, I was digging in my field and I just kind of dug it up. In your field, you say? <laughs> your father was a terrible liar too, you're just like him. Well, children always want to do what they're told they can't do, and to go where they're told they can't. My father was always strict and was always telling me what I couldn't do. I guess that's why I never got along with him very well. Oh. But why are you going to the dungeons? Uh. What's wrong? You won't tell anyone? I promise. I'm looking for clues about my father. Clues about your father? Yes, I'm positive that he's still alive somewhere. My mom believes it too. I understand. I won't tell anyone that you're, that you're going to the dungeons, alright? Really? You won't? But you have to promise me one thing, Arya. Don't do anything too dangerous. Be careful out there. Yes. Yes, sir. Do you like school, Arya? Yes, yes I do. Good morning. Good morning, Arya. Have you heard of pizza? I really love it. Morning. Morning. What do you want? There's nothing going on here. Nothing fun to see. Morning. Morning, Arya. Why does everyone think I'm a girl when they first meet me? That's just silly. You're all pushing me out of the way. It's mean. Also, if I were to come over here... Oh, not yet. Two more minutes. Alright. If you wait until noon... And you come over here... I brought your lunch. Hey, what do we get today? Today you're having stew. Yes! You got stew. See you tomorrow. Every day if you come here at noon, you actually get food. It's kind of great. Stew. Milk and vegetables boiled together. A creamed white, creamy white stew is one of the most popular varieties. It's worth $16.40 and is a ship item. And I believe stew is actually someone's birthday gift if you want to keep it. I will ship it because I can just buy it, but it's nice. You can either eat it yourself as a healing item, or you can gift it to people, or you can just ship it like I'm doing. But I hope that gives a little bit more insight why I love Barrett. He sees a child who's worried about their father, who can for some reason read Earth script and manage to defeat a monster much more powerful than them to then get an ancient tablet. There is a lot more happening here than anyone can really predict. And Barrett, rather than, you know, just try to say I should never go and all that, is reasonable. He kind of looks at me and goes, you have to promise me you can take care of yourself because he doesn't want me to come to harm, but he knows that if he just tells me off and scolds me, I'll just go anyway and I'll have no one to know that I'm there. He's a good guy. New dialogue. Hi, I can't believe you. Why did you come here? You know you're not allowed to be here. You should you should listen to Cammy. I'm sure Mana has told you too. Well, I know, but do you think you could keep it a secret from my teacher? Mm, okay, I guess. But what are you doing in a dangerous place like this anyway? I'm looking for clues about my father. Your father? Oh, I see. Clues about Kyle? Yeah. I understand. I won't tell your teacher anything. If you're running any problems, just come talk to us. Thank you. Oh, it's nothing. What are friends for? Right. Well, we're gonna head back. Be careful. Okay. They followed us on the boat. They were stowaways! On that barren boat. Somehow. I don't know, man. So, yeah. Monsters have changed here, too. We'll look around. We will not do any of the progress here, but we'll look around. Oof. So we know what's up here, but using that to reset all the monsters, we can run down here. Turtle, turtle.
And if we run back over here... What do we need for this one? What does it say? A summer fruit. It's thorny and difficult to hold. Bring me six of them, but it'll only take them at night. Only at night? I'll have to be careful. Huh, I wonder what kind of fruit they're talking about. I've never heard of such a thing. Goodbye! What does it say? A quiz of four questions. Answer all correctly and you win a stone tablet. Question one. What is the name of the event in the fourth week of summer? Uh... I'm gonna be real with you. I don't remember which one it is. I just know it's not the Flower Festival. Wrong answer. Take another look at your calendar. That's fine. Don't care. I don't want to proceed with any of those. I'm just exploring. Ah. Uh, mm, troll or ogre or whatever variant that is. Well, nothing to do there. That's a fishing spot. Alright. We can't do anything else here currently. Everything else is blocked off. But you have an idea for what's happening here now. We will not be making progress here for a little bit. I'd rather work on other things for now. Alright, now that we've informed Barrett about what we're doing, let's go to class. That way he doesn't think that we're off doing stupid things. I want a lesson. Time to start class. Water pots, hose, and poles. Today we'll start by making a tin water pot. It'll make farming a breeze. I'm just going to tell you everything you need. First, an old water pot. After that, it's a cinch. Use bronze. Then another bronze. Finally, some bronze for the gilding and you're done. What do you think? Next is a sturdy hoe. It'll make plowing a little bit easier. First, get a rusty hoe ready. Then, you'll need some bronze, but don't overdo it. You gotta sharpen the tip a little, so use an iron. Then, add a little iron and you're done. What do you think? Let's learn about making a beginner's pole next. The first thing you'll be needing is an old pole. Next, you'll need some wood. Wood is actually the most basic component of a beginner's pole. You use a bronze to make a joint. Then, another bronze to make sure it won't bend. What do you think? Easy. I want another lesson, though. Water pots, hose, and poles, too. Today, we're gonna start with a lion water pot. First, you'll need a tin water pot. Next, you'll need a silver. It might be a little tough to shape for the pot, though. After that, add a bronze. You'll need some iron, too. And you'll be putting the water pot in water, so you need to make sure it won't rust. Last is iron, and then it's done. Now you're gonna learn how to make a seasoned hoe. You need a sturdy hoe to begin with. Next comes silver. And then some bronze, which you'll need for the handle. Then iron. Hit it hard to make sure it won't crack. After that, you just need some iron and you'll be done. What do you think? The last thing we'll be learning about is an intermediate pole. You need to have a beginner's pole. You need wood next. Make sure you have everything. Next is silver. You'll use this to join it with rod itself. Make sure it's good and sturdy. Next, reinforce it with iron, just to be safe. Then, add in one more iron and you'll be done. Okay, and that's the lessons for the day. Hopefully, next week we'll be heavily upgrading all of our tools and making this a little bit nicer. I have no idea if it's possible to catch anything with this old rod, or at least anything that's worthwhile, but I believe this is around where it is, at least where it would be. Uh, no, it seems like it would be right about there, maybe? Yep, Lamp Squid. This is the spot where you can start getting fish as of Gen 2. Gen 2 has begun, so we can get all the fish from this pond.
Skill up. Another lip squid. A third lamp squid. Why not? Skill up. All right, let's call that one good. Teleportation, yeah! I wanna check, have I? I have shipped a lamp squid before. Okay, that's fine. I'll keep the others for when I'm cooking and whatnot. Guys, next time on Let's Play Rune Factory 2, a fantasy harvest moon. Uh, tomorrow, I don't believe we can actually purchase anything. But tomorrow will probably be one of those days where I just kind of do a bunch of quests for people. Talk to people, give, start figuring out what everyone likes and give gifts and whatnot. And otherwise, just have a good time. Uh, I need to go over all of my notes, as I haven't refreshed myself on these in a very long time. But, we're doing it. We're making friends, doing things, fishing, having good times. I'm happy. See you all next time, and I hope you all have a fantastic day. Goodbye.